Hi. My pregnant <laughs> wife could give birth any day now. <laughs> that is even creeping me out. I do not like that. We have somehow made it to 38 and a half weeks pregnant and we are doing everything in our power for this young lady here to go into labor. I've tried everything from curb walking, raspberry leaf tea, dates. You know, the big one. <laughs> I feel like it's right around the corner. I do feel like it can happen any day now. This might be the last YouTube video we make as just us two. Everything from this point on might be us with a baby. So in honor of that, we decided to do an end of pregnancy Q&A. Yay. We've had a lot of people say they like the videos when we just kind of sit down and talk to you guys. So let's get right into it. Question number one. Okay, question number one, I'm gonna make it about you. For Cam, what was the hardest difference of Mal that you had to adapt to? I feel like this is a dangerous question. Tre treading light water. This here. is a trick question. <laughs> Let me think about just that. Just be honest. I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Don't be afraid of hurting my no, feelings. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything mean. I'd say probably just like it was hard for me to adapt to Mallory being just uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> and that made everything inconvenient. Let's say that we both get in bed. She's like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. Can you help me get out of bed? Like right after I get in bed or, you know, can you go get up and pick me up this? Can you go do this for me? Can you do this for me? It's like, it became a lot more inconvenient. It was hard to adapt to like really quickly. Like she just became so physically uncomfortable. It's par for the course, like as the husband, you take care of your wife. If you're married and you've ever taken care of a spouse when they were sick, imagine that for just like 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a little challenging, but you know, I feel like I feel like I did a good job. Yeah. Did I do a good job? I there was an adjustment period for sure. I remember the first trimester, you like literally had no idea what to do with me, and I was just like throwing up all over the place. That like, was help hard. me, and yeah. you were just like ah. Yeah. <laughs> Question number two: Would you say third trimester has been harder or easier on you than the first trimester? It's a good question. I would put it this way. They're both hard in their own ways, but the first trimester, you had nothing to show for. Like, no one knew you were pregnant, and you were just miserable all the time. At least now, I'm uncomfortable, but I am, like, anticipating, like, meeting our baby. In the beginning, she was, like, sick, and she still had, like, 10 months ahead of her. And now she's sick, but she only has a couple days ahead of her. Yeah. It's much, much more manageable. Yeah. Question number three. I'm due June 14th. How are you feeling about delivery? The nerves are kicking in for me. I am also getting increasingly more nervous. I feel like I'm going in very confident and like excited to start the process of labor. But I get waves when I think yeah. about how soon it is of like, oh my gosh, like I'll just get a pit in my stomach thinking about like, I actually have to go through labor. Like yeah. that's terrifying. It's so weird that it's like this thing that you have no idea when the baby's gonna pop out. It's so weird to me. Like, oh, there, there's no assigned real due date. There's no yeah. real due date. But Mallory has been a freaking trooper throughout this process and I have been too, because I've been learning. I've been learning what I need to do. Give yourself I a pat on the back, babe. Pow, 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 pow. I know Mal's birth plan. I know all the stages of labor. I've done some research and I am freaking ready. Okay, question number four. We got a bunch of variations of this. Let's what are you most excited for in the first few days of having a child? I might not seem like a very emotional person, but I am. Mal knows this. On the inside. I don't know if that makes sense. That's so cliche. Oh, he's emotional on the inside. <laughs> well, I actually am, okay? And sometimes I cry, especially at Gardens of the Galaxy 3. That movie made me cry. Oh my goodness. But I am just so excited to hold our daughter and to like have her here and say, that's my girl. And to just be holding her. I'm just so excited to finally, you know, have it happen. I just, you know, I, yeah, I'm just so excited to meet her. I, that's probably such a stupid answer, but just to hold her. But it's so true. I, I would say the same thing. I'm just so excited to like finally meet her mm -hmm. because we've known things about her. Like we know she's a girl. We know we're having a girl. We can anticipate that, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Like she has a name to her, but we don't know her personality. We don't know anything else about her. So I'm yeah. so excited to like start that and to be able to cuddle her. I know. If you know, you know, question number five, is your mom going to get to be there for the birth like you had hoped mm. yes 
there is a video that we made where Mal was crying because her mom wasn't gonna be allowed inside in the hospital. We actually put this in our YouTube video the other week too. Are you okay, Mal? No. What happened? My mom can't be in the delivery room with me, and that freaks me out. Honestly, that was really gonna suck, and it's not like they changed their policy or anything for Mallory. Mallory just found a little bit of a loophole. Basically, she's gonna be my doula, and then she can come in. And they don't check any doula certification. Uh, my mom got a hold of the charge nurse at mm -hmm. that hospital, and she was like, oh my gosh, no, you're totally fine, like, just come on in. Question number six, what will you miss the most and least about pregnancy? Wishing for a safe delivery. What will I miss? the most nothing <laughs> i hate being pregnant she says that she hates being pregnant because she's pregnant but the second that she delivers that child six months later she's gonna be like cameron i want another baby i, I know i will i want to be pregnant again you're I gonna know. get baby fever you're gonna see all these pregnant women you're gonna want to be pregnant again and then this cycle will continue i know i know <laughs> our baby is going to give me baby fever the one thing the one thing is her kicking me is really surreal and cool just the idea that my body is growing our child like yeah. that is a miracle and that's so cool to be able to experience everything else that comes with pregnancy pff, what will i miss least about pregnancy there's so many but pr i would probably say the first thing that comes to mind is heartburn mm. my heartburn has been incapacitating for months i'll wake up in the middle of the night from like you know i'm in a deep sleep and mal's just like <laughs> He'll hear me like jingling my tums. Yeah, she'll sit there with the bottle just like... Uh. Or a glass of milk. Yeah. Okay, question number seven. I'm going to have you answer this one. What was Mal's weirdest craving? Anything like rocks or grass? <laughs> Safe delivery, by the way. I don't remember Mal craving anything that was not edible. I know... I... <laughs> <laughs> we've made we've made some videos where I get Mal's pregnancy cravings and in the comments I'm like women crave clay or women crave or towels yeah, like women, towels. women will crave towels or some girls or some women will crave eating paper I'm like I'm so confused by that I'm like is this like a universal thing <laughs> it's usually a sign of like iron deficiency or something I think what was weird to me was how intense Mal's craving for hot Cheetos was oh, it, yeah. it was intense like crazy I would come home and she would have like a little like a little raccoon would have like three little mini bags of hot cheetos in the trash can and she's like holding one in her hand and I, i'm like dude you're gonna get an <laughs> ulcer man like i remember having to buy those baby cheeto bags because if i would buy a family bag i would eat it in like a day like it was so bad i had to ration it mm -hmm. but she never craved anything weird yeah it was it was always edible <laughs> it was always edible for sure i'm itchy and i gotta poop I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> no, you aren't. <laughs> yeah. I'm itchy and I gotta poop. <laughs> that is pregnancy in a nutshell right there. <laughs> Question number eight. What are you most anxious about? Everybody in their freaking mother. Everyone tells you, oh, you're not gonna get any sleep. Your life is gonna suck for the first couple months. I know I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep, but why is everyone so negative about it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Am I, am I overkill right now? No, I, I think it's an ongoing thing where people have to tune out the, like, oh, just wait comments. Like, mm -hmm. just wait until you get no sleep. Just wait until you can't go out anymore. Just wait until blah, blah, blah. But I feel like it's totally what you make of it. Yeah. You know? Anxious about that. Anxious about the beginning, first couple months. But <clears throat> I feel like I'm just ready for it. So I am most anxious about when you go back to work. Mm. You're obviously going to be taking a couple weeks off, but yeah. not anything like three months paternity leave or anything No, like I'm not going to take like, off 12 weeks. Yeah, definitely anxious about that. But we have a lot of family and, and friends up here that are more than willing to help. So. Exactly. This is why we moved to this area, because they say it takes a village, and there is legitimately a village full of people up here that will help us. True. Question number nine. Going natural delivery or using the good stuff? <laughs> you want to say it on three? Three, two, one. Good, good stuff. stuff. I'm definitely wanting to labor naturally as long as possible, but for sure getting the good stuff. The By good stuff, I mean the epidural. Yeah. Yeah. I know the whole birth plan. Yeah. Which we're not talking about on social media because... Because I don't want to hear people's... Um, opinions about our birth plan. <laughs> Kindly. Question number 10. In what way has God been there for you with the end of your pregnancy coming up? I think the Lord has placed us in, first of all, a location that has surrounded us with like such an amazing community and so we have such a good support system in these last few months of pregnancy and I've also found like a lot of peace in being present with him 
in the anticipation of labor because again I've never experienced it it is a very scary idea but I think without my relationship with him I would be like leaning on my own understanding and spending so much time like being anxious and trying to like be in con- too much in control and knowing that I'm not in control and like he's got me mm-hmm. is like bringing so much peace to like these last few days. The pregnancy has not been perfect this entire time. There was definitely times where we're fighting and we argued and Mal's, you know, hormones and emotions are really high and I was having a really hard time dealing with it at certain times. Um, but the Lord has really helped me understand what Mal's going through. It's helped me to have a kinder heart, to have a servant's heart. It's been good to not just pray about, you know, Mal, but also another person, a baby. And I feel like I've come close to the Lord and the Lord has really showed me like, hey, you, you have a, you know, a biblical role as a husband to fulfill, but soon you will have a biblical role as a father to fulfill. And it has been really cool for me to try to like slowly understand, hey, I have to come into these roles, you know, as a man who's trying to be more like Christ every single day. Am I making sense? And so, yeah, and, and so it's been really exciting. And I feel like my relationship with God has gotten stronger uh, throughout the end of the pregnancy, especially because I can see it's so close now. anyways thank you guys for making it this far in the video if you have we appreciate you guys and all of your support and we're so excited for these last few days of me being pregnant before (laughs) we meet the baby girl make sure to like comment and subscribe that you always miss the eye you say the eye oh my gosh subscribe (laughs)